So this video is about uh, taking apart a InBev bottle, a draft mark. It's their way to serve, I think it's their answer to uh, the uh, Miller Coors home draft unit. It's quite a bit different technology though. It's got a bottle inside of a bottle and they pump air in there. I just got this bottle from a guy who found a post I made on a homebrew forum and he generously offered to drop it by. So uh, here I uh, cut the top and uh, pry it off. Obviously destructive test here. We're just going to see how this thing works. I, mean, I think I know generally how it works, but I figured I'd look at the details and share it with my all four of my YouTube audience. So it has sort of a sort of a bung, sort of a plug. It's sort of that's soft. It's not real hard rubber there. It's soft, so it makes a good seal on that internal bottle that has the beer in it. And then that little other port there is where the air gets pumped in. And I don't have the the base unit, uh, but uh, you know that just you know, I know when you close the top on it, it punctures that and forces air in there. And you can sort of I'm trying to show you here that the the lip of the internal bottle is is um, sort of mounted inside of the neck of the out external bottle, and and this is the um, I, I I sliced that so I could get it off, and just to see that there are tabs on there um, <clears throat> that keep it from uh, coming you know being reversed off, so it's it's basically once you turn it it's it's on there for good. And I'm trying to show you here the internal bottle, and there's a gap between the between the um, internal bottle and the out, outside bottle. See, there's sort of a gap there, and that's where the air goes in. And so I thought I'd try to try to draw you a little picture here of basically, you know, what my interpretation of what, you know sort of what it looks like. Um, this is uh, sort of an early rendering before I actually did the further destructive test. But it's, I basically got it got it correct where uh, the beer, you know, that bung goes in the internal bottle and the beer comes out and there's that little port and it the air scoots around the edges between the big bottle and the little bottle, the internal bottle. And so let's take a look. And if you can hear me, but let's take a look at what it looks like, um, what the neck looks like. Okay, so now I've got it cut off um, on, on uh, like three sides there, so we can sort of see what it looks like. I didn't cut through the the internal bottle, just the external bottle for the most part. And we can see that they've basically blow molded a bottle inside of a bottle, which uh, yeah, I sort of knew that. And um, I'm sure that the two were were softened at the same time, and and oh, they, they might have been might have been two separate. Yeah, they probably were softened at the same time and then blow molded at the same time. Anyway, um, take take a part of the external bottle off and just pull the uh, pull the internal bottle out. You know, there's no way to reuse this. I don't think there's any possible way to reuse this for home brewing. I'm just doing it for the uh, sake of um, for the fun of it. <laughs> so anyway, here's the internal bottle. It's clear. It's got that little nub to hold it in place while um, the uh, beer is being pumped out and uh, you can sort of see the neck there so here's a close-up of the neck it's it's got these tabs on there to keep that internal bottle in place and you can see the little spacers on the outside of the internal bottle that that make sure that there's plenty of space for the air to squeeze past and out to the space in between the two bottles so there you have it the um, the InBev draft mark um, delivery system and um, how it sort of how it sort of gets gets by without having CO2 like the um, like the uh, Miller Coors one has so hope you enjoyed it um, we'll, uh, we'll be looking forward to doing another video sometime soon